small. Okay, I know what you're thinking. After all, why would Acorns introduce Bitcoin into their platform? Isn't Bitcoin a highly speculative, volatile investment that can fluctuate heavily over time and isn't really based on any sort of historical foundation such as that Acorns built itself upon? Well, that's very, very true. Bitcoin is unlike anything you have seen in Acorns. So just a few days ago, Bitcoin or a Bitcoin ETF was introduced into Acorns. Keep in mind that you cannot invest directly into Bitcoin using Acorns. That's something that as of right now is not possible. However, I know that they are going to maybe add something like that in the future. So how can you invest into Bitcoin without buying Bitcoin itself? Well, the answer is an ETF. So I had to look this up because I wasn't even sure myself about this, but the Bitcoin ETF that Acorns is introducing into the app is called BITO, which stands for Bitcoin ETF ProShares Bitcoins Strategy. So I haven't looked at that. However, you can look it up if you want to see more about that itself. It's something that's fairly new and was just recently added on to the stock market exchange. So I know you may be asking why would Acorns introduce something this volatile into their platform and it's strictly based on diversification. So Bitcoin is a highly speculative investment that you should not invest your money in unless you are safely invested in other types of markets since it is so speculative. So Acorns is aware of this and they have allocated a small, small, very small portion of your portfolio into Bitcoin. So depending on what type of portfolio you have, you can only invest anywhere from one to 5% using this option. So keep in mind that since Bitcoin is so speculative, they are not allowing you as an investor to invest more than 5% based upon which portfolio you have selected in the app. So if you are conservative and invest into Bitcoin, you turn this feature on, you are investing only 1% of your allocation into Bitcoin. If you go with moderately conservative, you are only investing 2% of your allocation into Bitcoin. If you're doing moderate, you're doing 3%, moderately aggressive, 4%, and then finally aggressive as at 5%. So your entire portfolio would be made up of 100% of stocks or 95% of stocks if you go with this Bitcoin alternative, and then 5% of your allocation would be Bitcoin. So how they're doing this is if you turn the feature on, it is not retroactive. So they will not sell any of the stocks or bonds that you currently have. They only change this is if you turn this feature on, any money you invest after the feature is turned on is allocated into Bitcoin. So let's say that I have 100% of stocks in my Acorns portfolio. 100% will always be stocks until I turn this feature on. And then from that point forward, it will be 95% will be invested in stocks and then 5% will be invested into this Bitcoin ETF. It's also something you wanna note is that this Bitcoin ETF is not Bitcoin itself. So you are not buying Bitcoin when you are buying this ETF, which is a little bit interesting way to think about Bitcoin. This ETF is on the stock market. However, it's not a stock or it's not a bond. It reflects the price of Bitcoin. So you may ask kind of what the difference is between investing in Bitcoin itself or investing in this ETF. And it's quite simple is that it's easier for Acorns to supply you with investing in an ETF based on all of the systems and everything that they have already set up. So for them, they could just allocate 5% of a portfolio or 4% or 3% or whatever the setting is that you have, they can just allocate that to an ETF instead of investing in Bitcoin. And then you have to learn about wallets. And quite frankly, uh, most people don't want to know anything about that. They just want to put their money in Acorns. Acorns does the magic for them and they don't have to do anything, which, hey, is what the app is for after all. I'm going to open my Acorns app and show you how to navigate it, how to turn on this feature, and you could also turn it off as well. So once you turn it on, you're not stuck to it. You can therefore disable it later. Okay, so I am going to go into Acorns. Okay, so I have logged into Acorns and you can see at the front page, I have around $3,500 total in Acorns. So to get to the Bitcoin ETF feature, you wanna to go to invest for your future, which is at the top. And then there's portfolio. 
So you want to click portfolio. You can see that I have the moderate portfolio. So if I go with this Bitcoin option, I have 3% of my allocation to Bitcoin. So I'm going to then scroll down and then there is an option here. Diversify your portfolio with a Bitcoin ETF. So I'm going to click learn more. Okay. And then this is the page that I've kind of quickly read over to be able to explain to you guys. However, basically you can just diversify your portfolio even more using this Bitcoin ETF. It allows for exposure into Bitcoin without the need of any sort of digital wallet and dollar cost averaging is a standard proven way to make more money in the stock market while also reducing the risk that you have as an investor. Here it kind of explains what you're investing in, what Bitcoin is if you're not familiar, how much you're investing. So this is where, like I said, if you're conservative, you're investing 1% and if you're aggressive, you're investing only 5%. So if you want a stronger allocation to Bitcoin, as of right now, you're not able to do that in the app. And this is just Bitcoin. It's not any other type of cryptocurrency or anything. Then it talks about adding the Bitcoin ETF instead of the Bitcoin token. So you're not investing in Bitcoin itself, but rather a price that reflects Bitcoin that is in this ETF. So they do, obviously, they want you to note that Bitcoin is an extremely volatile asset. It cannot be any more volatile than Bitcoin in terms of investments in this app. This is the most risky thing you can invest in in this app. If you're not willing to take the risk, if you're not willing to potentially lose a little bit of money, you shouldn't be investing in this at all. So that's something that you want to keep in mind for sure. So then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it just explains why it's risky, what happens and so on. And then you can click add to your portfolio. So I'm gonna do this for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna click add and then it adds it to your portfolio and then ba -ba -bum, it's done. And then now you can see that the portfolio has changed. So there is 3% which is now allocated towards Bitcoin. And like I mentioned, this is the target percentage that they want. So any money I add here on out will be this 3%. It will not convert the money that I already have invested into that 3%. If you scroll down, you can see the different types of portfolio options and you can change something. You can see your year-to-date return, year-to-date earnings, stocks, bonds, and crypto. Now I'm gonna show you real quick how to disable this feature after you've enabled it in case you're like, wow, crypto is really not my thing. I don't want any part to do with crypto. So you go to portfolio again, right from the homepage, and then you can click on this like blue shiny thing here. I don't even know what to describe that. And then you can click the ETF itself. And then you can see the return for this. So Bitcoin in 2022 has not done very good. In fact, it's gone down around 30%. So this ETF has only been around since October, November of last year, so 2021. So for this ETF in particular, its year-to-date return has not gained any money at all. It's just lost money. If you realize that and then you wanna remove it from your portfolio and then you click remove from portfolio right at the bottom. If you sell this, the funds in the ETF will then be redistributed throughout your, the rest of your portfolio. So that's something you want to keep in mind as well. And then this will have tax implications. And then bada bing, bada boom, you're done. It's gone. You don't have to worry about Bitcoin anymore. Now that I've showed you how to enable and disable this feature, you're probably asking me, should I do this for myself? And what I say to you is if you're willing to take the risk, Bitcoin and crypto in general does not have very much history as it's only been around for 10, 15 years. So basically we don't know historically how good it can do. Stock, we know that over a 20 year period, the stock market has never seen negative growth. So if you're invested for over 20 years, you will not lose money at all. It's almost guaranteed because we have the history to back it up. That's not the case when it comes to Bitcoin. Be aware that this money you're investing one day, you can potentially lose it all. And I know that's very scary, but if you're willing to take the risk into an asset that could potentially change the way the future is handled with money being more decentralized and however that works in the future, it's something that you could seriously consider. If you're willing to take the risk for a potentially significantly higher return on your money, then I think it is worth it. But if you're not willing to take a risk, if you just want to stick to stocks and bonds for a guaranteed return on your money, I would say ignore this asset class. Only invest if you're comfortable with losing the money. Otherwise, it will not work out for you in the end. 
This is not a get rich quick scheme or anything of the sort. This, just like any other asset, will fluctuate heavily and you need a lot of time for it to grow. If you're able to handle that risk, then I say go for it. Otherwise, avoid it at all costs. So far, I'm a few videos in. I really enjoy making these videos for everybody. So if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe down below. It really helps me out, helps the YouTube algorithm. Leave me a comment. Is this something that you would want to do? Would you invest only up to 5% of your portfolio towards Acorns? Let me know down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video and I hope your day is as pleasant as you are. Thank you.